I know we have a substrate that's damp, moist, but not wet. And it's loose so that they can dig. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Ramblers. My name is Amra from the Rambling Richardsons. If this is your first time, welcome. So we have a number of things that are happening here in the office slash reptile room. Um, if you've watched uh, some of my most recent videos, know that my isopod culture or isopod colony is expanding. So we made a video for building out another smaller enclosure to move some of the colony over because the little colony that's back there is just, they're, they've been very busy. So that is one of the things that is on the list. We have some plants that we're going to plant back here in the gecko tank for my peacock gecko. And both of the axolotls are going into quarantine. Frankie has fungus, so I can only assume that Beans has fungus too. Their little gills are not looking the greatest, so they gotta go into quarantine and I've gotta recycle both of their tanks. And when I do though, I have a little something extra to put into their tanks. And I'll get to that when we do that, probably tomorrow, because it needs to happen soon. Anyways, let's get into the isopod stuff, because we are going to be definitely giving them a huge upgrade. So do me a favor, go down there, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. It truly helps the channel. Let's push that algorithm out there. Eww. Help me out. It doesn't cost anything to you. And my channel really, really appreciates it. Appreciates it. Okay, let's get into what we're doing today. This is going to be the new home for our ice pot culture. So this is just a plain bin that I got from a big box store. And I went ahead, just like the other video, I drilled holes along the top and along the sides. I marked them out and drilled those out earlier today. We're going to mix up some substrate like we did before and put it in here. And we're going to take the rest of this colony up here. We're gonna put them into this box here so that they have lots of room. And this box will eventually be the box that I start pulling from and making these. So if you watch that video I posted a while back, I made a isopod, small little isopod enclosure, and they are doing pretty great in there so far. Um, so those will start to be the something that I can new little project we'll say little side project but first we got to mix some soil up for this and we're gonna do it just like in the other video so coconut core some activated charcoal a little bit of sphagnum moss and then we're gonna take the rest of what's in there and the corks put them on top First thing we're going to do is get some coconut core. I just happened to buy this bag a long time ago. A lot goes, or a little goes a long way. You can also get it compressed or at big box stores. Sell it pretty much anywhere you can get like dirt and stuff like that.
<laughs> now we gotta put some water in. Okay, so now we have a substrate that's damp, moist, but not wet. And it's loose so that they can dig. The giant canyon isopods like to dig. So now we're going to take the isopods out of their old enclosure and put them into this box. As you can see, this isn't really the greatest to have them in. It's very shallow. And I originally built this to be a terrarium and they have dug down past my drain it into my drainage layer. So they gotta go. Mini isopods. Okay, just gently put them in here. I don't want to smush any of them. Oh, look at all those springtails. Nice. Oh yes. Okay, so got some moss here. And got some isopods up in that moss. <laughs> That'll be their drinking station. There's a ton of little babies in here still. I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't know how the best way to get them out would be. Lord. Of gallon sprayer works super good. So we got all the ice ponds sprayed down. You can see some of them roaming around the enclosure still. Like that little guy. Go to the drinking station. Here are a few. Okay, I gave them some fish flakes so they can eat. Uh, don't feed them too much because I don't want the fruit flies in there. But yeah, there we go. All done. Oh, well, I got the isopod culture, isopod colony put into their new habitat. Does need some leaf litter and some more cork. That'll come later. But for right now, they're moved into a space that is adequate in size for how much how many there were there were so many 
and they had dug down past my barrier, my weed barrier, into my drainage layer. So I had to pick each one of those little clay leak up like a balls out. Make sure I got all of the isopods. I didn't want to have any of them uh, get thrown away or trashed or die. So that took forever, but they're in their new enclosure now. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Hope you have a great day. And as always, we will see you on the next video. Okay. Push that algorithm out there. Ooh.